Hello and welcome back to another Krita tutorial. In the last Krita video, I discussed how to go about choosing your brushes and how you can improve your line art and hand-eye coordination. What I did not discuss was how you can blend the colors. So in today's video, I will be doing that. Let's get started. For the first example, I will be using airbrush and start by applying different shades of red. Now as you can see the colors that I am applying are not properly blending. To blend them I will pick the color that is between the darker red and the lighter red. I will keep picking and painting the colors until the colors are blended to my liking. This is called soft edge shading technique and even though I used different shades and hues they have been blended so much that you can't really tell them apart. I will talk about what each type of blending can be used for after I am done with each of them. Now I will take this hard edged round brush. It has its opacity turned on which means that if you press gently the color will be applied lightly and if you press down on the tablet the color will be darker. So for blending with hard edged brushes make sure to choose the brushes with opacity. Same as before you will keep picking the color and gently applying it on the surface until you have blended it to your liking. Although both this one and the previous one were blended with the same technique, the result is quite different due to the different brushes used. In comparison to soft shading, this one is more textured. Next I am using the wet brush. This brush mixes colors together without the need of picking colors repeatedly. So by taking one color and applying it onto another gently, you will be able to blend colors together easily. The trick is to gently apply color until it blends and not press down on the pen. Blending with this brush will result in a very painted look with brush strokes being very visible. You can of course blend this brush with color picking technique as well. In the last technique, I will be using a hard round brush. This one does not have opacity. So you cannot blend it on its own. So after applying the colors you want on the canvas, search for the blender brush and choose the one you want. I'm using the Q-tip one. Gently start blending the colors together. Don't press down on the tablet because you will smudge your painting. Press lightly to blend smoothly. Now let's talk about what each type of blending technique is used for. Soft edge blending. Many artists use this for painting skin. It can be used for soft edges and shadows. Shal E is a Korean artist that works with soft edge blending technique. Hard edge blending technique. This technique would be good for painting thick material like leather and hard edges. Evgeny Parfenov, I hope I pronounced that right, uses hard edged brushes in their illustrations. Wet brush blending. I don't know if anyone uses this type of blending in Krita. But this is my favorite type of blending. 
I use this for adding textures and it gives my paintings oil painted look. I also use this brush to paint materials like satin and brushed gold. Blending with blender brushes. This type of blending will be good for polished, smooth and shiny surfaces. It will take a little patience to get the hang of these blending techniques but it is not hard to learn at all. You will be able to blend quickly as you keep on practicing. I hope this tutorial helped you. Comment down below if you want to see more tutorials and if so on what topics and I will see you next time. If you enjoyed the video remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.